The former number two at the FBI, who was recently terminated just hours before retirement, is now facing potentially serious legal trouble. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris has the latest on that tonight. Good evening, Catherine. Well, thank you, Brett. A source close to the matter confirms to Fox News that the Justice Department's internal watchdog, Inspector General Michael E. Horowitz, made a criminal referral to the U.S. Attorney here in Washington, D.C. Horowitz and his team concluded former Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe lied four times, three times under oath over his role in a media leak about the FBI's investigation of the Clinton Foundation about two weeks before the presidential election. Key section of the Inspector General's report mirrors the language contained in the federal statute 18 U.S.C. 1001 that covers lying to federal investigators. It reads in part, when the cave told investigators in May 2017 that he did not know who authorized the disclosure to the Wall Street Journal, it was not due to a lack of memory. In our view, the evidence is substantial, that it was done knowingly and intentionally. On his book tour to Today, Director Comey said he had no knowledge of the referral. Given that the IG's report reflects interactions that Andy McCabe had with me and other FBI senior executives, I could well be a witness. Criminal referrals are usually secret, and today the Justice Department and the Office of the Inspector General declined to comment. But McCabe's lawyer told Fox News the standard is low in his opinion for this type of referral. We are confident that unless there is inappropriate pressure from high levels of the administration, the U.S. Attorney's Office will conclude that it should decline to prosecute. In a separate development, two congressional sources told Fox News the seven Comey memos memorializing his conversations with President Trump could be delivered to Capitol Hill by the Justice Department as soon as tonight, after Fox News confirmed the Republican chairman of the House Judiciary Committee threatened to issue a subpoena after the Justice Department missed that deadline, Brett.